42 KMI. The game lets you battle together with friends via local wireless or take the fight to the world with online play. To connect two Nintendo Switch consoles, press the ZR button to pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. For online battles, you can set your preferred rules. These rules can be pre-registered so you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all players will fight using those rules. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. Global Smash Power is being factored into matchmaking, but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Your GSP will change as the total population of players increases or you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a challenge, try increasing your Global Smash Power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. By the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. If you repeatedly self-destruct on purpose, you could face a penalty, like being disconnected, so please don't do that. As with any multiplayer game, a stable connection is very important. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances between players. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. As such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. A wired LAN cable is recommended. We've prepared a variety of other features for local wireless and online battles. Once your global smash power is high enough, you can enter elite battles. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good, period. After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. If you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more tags as you win. Try to collect lots of smash tags. You can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. Freely choose from a wide selection of varied preset messages. After you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle to begin. Not every mode will be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. Spectator mode returns once again, so you can watch other players' battles. Maybe you can pick up some good tips that way. Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. You'll be paired up against two-player teams with the same setup. When you want to play online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can fight against your friends. Here, there are spots where you can join the battle, wait in line, or even spectate. It all depends where you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy.
With the Nintendo Switch Online app, you can voice chat with others in battle arenas. It may become an essential tool for some players. We are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. Instead of focusing on stats like win-loss records, we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more. Once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content.